Guitar Studio and today we're going to do a really important exercise and that's on alternate picking. Alternate picking is extremely important to master and also to master in various rhythmic subdivisions and that's what we're going to work on today. So go ahead and open up the tabs as always in the description and uh, take a look at this first example. Uh, the first like three lines of the tabs here are uh, eighth notes. So what you're going to do is you're going to put on a metronome and well, learn the example first. You're going to do down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up on each finger. And then when you get to the fourth fret, you just go, you know, continue with a down, up. Don't reverse it. Just do down, up and go the other way. twice on every finger, all the, all the way up, all the way down. Um, and you can see that, that rising figure there in the tablature. Once you have that down, then you're going to practice with a metronome. So let's just turn it on and see how it feels. So this is, sorry, I'll put it at 100. So you're going to want to um, you're going to want to align the downstroke right with that click and really kind of tap into that. Tap your foot, move your head, whatever physical thing helps you to stay on with the metronome. And then you just rise it up gradually until you, you can go faster and faster. Okay. But once you get that that one kind of nailed, and and I would I would say this is something that's good to do every day for a while. Like I again I still do exercises like this. Uh, I first tried this one maybe uh, 15 or 16 years ago. Um, so it's still in my warm up repertoire. So I'll do this one maybe another day. I'll do a different picking exercise, and then the next day I'll go back to something like this. So the next one is triplets, and this is just a little bit uh, harder. Every other beat or every beat it is uh, the accent on, is on the opposite pick. So it's down, up, then up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So since you have three notes in the beat and you only have two picks, a down and an up. Um, it keeps getting offset and reversed every single time. So that's something you want to get used to is feeling that up on uh, beat two and beat four um, on the beat. Like that. All right. Uh, and then you would, again, do that with the metronome. You could slow it down to make it more um, manageable. If you if you'd like, but here's a hundred again. And so on. Uh, and then, then the last subdivision we're gonna do is sixteenth notes, and that's counting one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a and this one you wanna feel an accent on uh, every other downstroke. So you have one E and a two E and a three E and a four E. So every other time you do it down, it's going to be a, a heavy hitter. There's a lesson that I did. Uh, maybe I'll link this one up as well in the description. If I forget, just comment. <laughs> um, that uh, it's called "How to Pick Better." I think I just I just made a really simple uh, title, and it's called it's about rest strokes, where you kind of hammer into the next string in order to keep the beat and accent. So down. See how my pick is just drilling right into the A string. I'm playing the E, but I'm like drilling and landing right into that A. And I can accent and feel the click. So if I have the metronome one. picks light, but by doing that one accent, I'm really dialing in to the metronome. 
So here's an example. I'll just make it a little faster and I'll go all the way through. Uh, sorry, I'm having trouble reading this. So I'll do eighth notes, then triplets, then sixteenths. something that's comfortable um, and find which metronome speed works best for you for each subdivision. The goal here is not to get all of them on the same tempo like I just did. I just did that just to demonstrate, but like the, the goal is to be able to feel the subdivision. Two notes per beat with an eighth note. Um, triplets, one, two, three, one, two, three, triple, a triple, a one, and a two, and a three, and a four. And then the four notes per beat on the 16th note. Da -da 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 so you want to be able to feel those four or those three um, subdivisions, whatever tempo it is. It's all about how how does it feel to divide the beat into the, each of those um, two, three, and four notes. All right. Any questions in the comments? Talk to you later.